<laughs> so this this might be a very short-lived like two minutes as we go down this because there could be somebody down here um we've just kind of been afk for the last like five minutes shivering so i don't know we're uh we're gonna go find out though Wait, we have NVGs on this character, I forgot. <laughs> I mean, we got over... Tw we got another stack of 20 shots for the Mosin. Should we just get rid of the hunting scope? For the CR and use it as like a close range or like medium range gun, maybe? I don't know. We'll just hold on to it for now, I guess. <laughs> My vision goggles didn't work here, though. <laughs> Not every day you see this. Agent X. How you doing today, man? Alright, well, we are more than ready to leave Vorkuda. <laughs> like, God, that was just wild the way we got this gear last stream. crazy mostly that the crane actually worked <laughs> hey jose good to see you welcome in what's going on mr kane how you doing today brother guy got the NVGs from anyway. Like, we didn't kill anybody that had, like, an AK or anything like that or, like, anything special. I mean, maybe one of the other guys that was logged out I did have something better. But, like, just Mosin, Shotgun. Um, maybe we had the CR before. What's going on, beer drinker? Welcome in, dude. Hey, what's what's pumping a stack tick? What was the result of your ticket the other day? Um, kind of just like, I mean, it just there, there really was no like definite evidence that like there was any like foul play, but um, there was just some guy on Tara with an MP5 that was like running around he was on tar for like two hours he was running around and um i guess he just came he, he came like by the deer stand that i like was logged out next to um like probably two minutes after i had like logged in so it was just like the craziest timing in the world I'm just surprised that like nobody posted about it like in the discord or anything like dude if i fucking 
killed some guy with a suit that was AFK, and like, I did it with a, like an MP5. I mean, I mean, I guess it's really nothing to gloat about killing someone that's AFK, but like that's just a come up and a half. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, ready for some good PvP, hopefully. See, uh... See what we can get ourselves into. There's no zombies around. Mm, I was kind of hoping for, like, an SKS. But, uh... We have, we, have, we have no right to be that lucky. <laughs> so let's just keep moving. <clears throat> Good evening, Mythos. Yeah, the timing was impeccable, you know? Like, that's just, I was just like, wow. Like, that's just, that's, that's, that's just what insane. <laughs> It's like, I don't even really care about, like, losing the suit. But just dying like that and not being able to defend myself, I was just like, come on. Like, I at least want to be there and see how it happened. But it's cool that we have, like, the admins and stuff to, like, tell us, like, what happened. You know what I mean? I heard there were official in the mosque servers and just checked and there are. They're EU only with high ping rate. Um, I know nothing about that. I saw something, like, so, someone posted something at some point somewhere. I don't even know. But, the mosque isn't technically an official no, daisy map, though, like, from, from my understanding, unless, like, something's changed. But I guess if it's in the official tab, then it kind of is? I, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I understand some rack, you know, works for Bohemia, but he, he made it as a passion project, and I'm not sure if Bohemia has, like, rights to the map or something. I know nothing about that kind of stuff, so. I'll just sit here, smile, and, uh, on my head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't see anything anywhere. Seems, uh, pretty quiet. <clears throat> What's going on, hiker? We good.
Doing good, doing good. And some, you know, got, went, got, got some groceries earlier, you know, I woke up pretty late because I was up pretty late. Um, but then I was, uh, you know, played, played a little bit of Tarkov. I don't know, I've been kind of getting the itch for Tarkov again lately, but dude, I've just been like getting into these raids, right? And killing like, ugh, you know, two, three, uh, maybe even four guys. And then like, I'm, I'm always getting third party, like right at the end, and I, it'll lose everything. And I'm just like, come on. Like, <laughs> But you know, you, there's there's moments, right? There's moments where you're good. There's moments where you're not. There's always one more guy. That's how it goes. Just like Daisy a little bit. Ark is full of hackers. I mean. You're not wrong, um, but but honestly, I feel like I never really run in. I never really run into cheaters. I mean, maybe it's just because I don't like. I don't want to assume that, but yeah, I mean, I feel like most of the cheaters though are people using like those fucking like vacuum hacks or whatever, where they like open their inventory and then all the good shit go flies inside to, in their inventory, and. They, they just extract and, and then they go throw it on the flea make money or they like sell it for real life money and then sell the money for money more money <laughs> I, I don't know maybe they just like uh give people um whatchamacallit i saw it in some video uh i think they like just loot gives people the items like high value items and have it go sell them themselves but I think people are, like, getting banned for that shit, you know? For, like, even, like, buying the RMT stuff, you know? And, uh, being a part of that. Anyway, enough about, uh, Tarkov and cheaters. Uh, <laughs> see... What it's looking like without the MBGs. Okay, it's really not that bad. I don't even, you know what? We we have a Mosin. I don't think checking refugee is really all that worth it to us. Like, yeah, maybe we get an SKS, but I think I'd rather try to find somebody and snipe them for the SKS instead of getting caught out by somebody there. So let's just bail out of here for now. And we'll go chase somebody down. Yeah, exactly. Go find a FAMAS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could, we could just do like a big loop right now to like, I don't know, uh, even go Hilitary. We can go to the helis. We could go AC-130 or something. We'll figure it out. Only thing we're going to struggle on right now is food and we are a little cold. I have any heat packs. Oh. And I do need a gas canister for the, uh... Cook and set here. Cook a Jumbo Wamba. Thank you so much for the two months. I hope you're doing well. How's it going? I love reading your name every single time. Like, it's... <laughs> Honestly, like, reading, reading your name kind of just puts you in, like, a good mood no matter, like how focused you are you're just like coco jumbo wumbo yeah i don't know at least with me and my goofy mind but okay you know it'll vary between people i suppose pretty good pretty good that's good that's good one time one time Part of me kind of wants to check out construction down here. Actually, let's put the MK in our number two slot. So we could really use gas canister. And we need the heat up as well, so 
Maybe we like find a gas canister in here, sit inside one of these buildings for a little bit. Uh, warm ourselves up. Just wonder if anybody's already here or not. I'm triple carrying right now. Um, I need to drop something. I think we get rid of the CR. I think we have enough Mosin ammo. Kind of last us. And it'll, it makes most sense. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, okay. summon them. They can come out from hiding. Okay, we got a little bit better of insulation here now. Better insulation. Now we're just going to see if we can find a canister and uh, we'll get out of here. Uh, wait, <laughs> sitting here looking at head torches. I'm, meanwhile, I'm wearing MVGs on my head. Ooh, wait. Hacksaw. Yeah. a fucking can of Pepsi. Alright, we need food. Um, we don't have fishing supplies. There's a rope right here that we could probably find. Actually, wait, I just heard a deer or something, didn't I? Like a pig? I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah, your friend's dead. I'm sorry. I heard a pig or something up here. So let's go over let's go over here. Let's an EVR storm start.
Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. All right, we need to actually. We need we need to cook, so we need to go somewhere where we're not gonna get blasted. Look at the sky. Oh, yeah. Not paying attention. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's going on, Johnny boy? Last night, Adam Craig was attacked by two, two or two. So is it what? So what? So what is it? Two or two? Packs of wolves was hilarious. I um, I think I, saw, I caught like a glimpse of that last night. Um, I was kind of in and out. I was working on like a little bit of editing a video. Um, God, I that that was rough. Uh, <laughs> Didn't, haven't finished it yet, but yeah. Two or three packs. Yeah. I mean, you can like, I think you can get up to like six or seven wolves in one pack. Sometimes it's, uh, it gets, it gets pretty wild. ourselves a fishing rod because like yeah we have this wolf steak but it really isn't going to do much for us <clears throat> maybe we can uh let me see what kind of time of day it is right now i don't want to make a fire when it's still this dark but we might have to Let's go get some fish. Then we'll worry about that. ourselves a hook made up. I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of gamma. It is pretty dark. But the sky, the, just like the skybox just looks so good without the gamma. We're really out here. We're really surviving. If I don't get this in the next couple of casts, we will go cook the uh, the wolf steaks. Because uh, we're, ha we're having to like sit partially in the water here. And that's killing us, so. Just make a small little fire like up here in the trees or something. Actually, you know what? We'll just leave the rod right down here. Because we're going to come back and fish. Um, 
maybe I, I guess right there is like as good as it's gonna get Cut down one more tree. You're gonna need more sticks for the fire anyway. Oh yeah, and does the cooking pot even have uh water inside of it? Okay. Well, we can fill up right here. Okay. Let's do this. to take this off, throw that there, don't want to cook that, there we go, that should sort us out, and then we can go down and fish by the water once this is done, and then we'll go pick a new uh, spot to make a fire. Finish up. Oh, no. That's more food for us. Let's hope they don't hit me. I see him. I know you got it, didn't you? I know, I know you can finish. Uh, where did it go? Nice. Okay. Let's 
cut this guy out. Oh. Cut this guy up. Might as well just cook another one, right? I mean, we already got the fire rolling. Oh shit, there's only like one piece of steak. Oh. Well, uh... We'll deal with it. That's okay. I know there's another wolf down there, but... This should this should carry us for a little while. Be all right. Get my finish up. I'm gonna make another rope just in case. Just in case we have to ditch that fishing rod for some reason. We're gonna try to carry it on us, but just in case we gotta ditch it. Come on, finish up. Let's go. What are you, what are you doing? It's taking so long. Oh, there we go. Had to give it a little bit of a pep talk. Good to go. Okay, let's get out of here. Go grab our fishing rod. Decided to load my Mosin finally. <laughs> I think I had only had one shot in the chamber and I wasn't even thinking. Got all this extra ammo. <laughs> yeah, I guess one piece. I guess I just shot it in the body too much or something, Don. I don't really know. What are you talking about, Scotch? <laughs> and cabbage. What you, did, did Brian get off or something? man right there I don't, I don't i don't believe he's too weak i think he was just hungry probably <laughs> what's going on adrian what's up my ryan You know, I might just, uh, I might just adopt the alias of just being Marcus, you know, because I think the whole, like, every, everyone just gets too confused. You know, maybe I'll just go legally change my name, you know, maybe, I think that's a better idea, actually. 
<laughs> Let me just change my life because of my fake Daisy name. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it knows who Tanny is. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's perfect. It's like the... Perfect alias. Just... <laughs> keep, it keeps everyone away. You know, all the, all the creeps. They'll never know. Plastic surgery and Asian family adoption go all in. <laughs> you're right, you're right. That's actually not bad. Marcus is a good, strong name. <laughs> It'd be like Mark Cussington. Make it very proper. Oh, what 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 would be the last name though? Uh, I, I, oh wait, I already know Cortez. <laughs> Just have a whole new, a different, a whole different identity. Just for Daisy and like Twitch. Oh yeah, Mr. Bling. That's like a um. It kind of seems like a some sort of like Romanian or like I don't even know. Like the start with the Y and the S, like that. That <laughs> that actually has like a real feel to it. Big Russian. I don't know. But you know what? Hey, if I'm if I gotta be, if I'm just gonna be Marcus or Mark or everything, fuck it. So be it. I'm a Daisy streamer who plays the alias of an Asian guy named Mark. <laughs> Join me on my adventures. <laughs> get married and you can legally change your name for free. Oh wait, so me and Lex get married and we could both change our name to something like... <laughs> to something different. <laughs> Just completely change our identities. It's exciting. We're getting pretty close to research here. I need to kind of back up. You know, our plan was to go get like all the moss or something first. And that would be a nice thing to do. So let's not get blasted by someone just hanging out down here in the trees. Oh my god, more wolves. We gotta load up the MK. <laughs> Let's 
I think I might just leave the fishing rod for now. I don't think I can fit it anywhere. Yeah, no. Liam, Noah, Oliver, James, Elijah, the top five right now. Mark is boring and overused. I mean, it's just, it's just a little, it, you know, it's just, uh, Marcus evil, Marcus. <laughs> there you go. That's one way to look at it. Oh, shit, they're coming in hot. Ooh, hey, buddy. Hey, uh, pop. Shit. That one's dead. That one's dead. Oh, shit. That's right in the ass. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, you fucker. Ah, oh, they baited me up good. He hit me in the head. Like twice. Why not break it down and make your bag bigger? Oh, that's what you meant. That's a good idea. I probably should, actually. But that stick's already gone. Ruin the VGs. No. So the MVGs, um, they act as like a separate attachment to the tactical helmet. So they actually don't get ruined unless you take them off separately and shoot them. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of neat. Because I don't think you can shoot... I don't think you can shoot somebody on the ground and shoot their MVGs off and like ruin them or anything. I think you have to take them off of the helmet for it to actually do anything. What's going on, Donzi? Good to see you. All right. Um, organize this a little bit. We got to patch up our face and our helmet. The wolf really got a piece of us there. All right, bingo. Let's see what else. Oh, oof. Last use on the epoxy, I think. Yeah, we got a decent amount of 22. Dude, after we killed those guys up on that tower, like, they just had so much stuff. Like, it was just... <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous. That's what's kind of... Yeah. Given us this, this luxury of being able to be south without having to actually do the usual south run. That's a nice place tree for us to grab a stick from. Yeah, nice. Okay. We're going to be able to expand our backpack. Um, for Kuda Tower? Yeah, Kaliki. Killed one when they were up on the roof, and then we went up and looted them. And then another one of them longed back in at the top. We blasted them. And then there was like others below that were just like camping it. And then the server restarted. <laughs> nice. Bigger backpack. A few days ago? Yeah, it was a few days ago. <laughs> We're dying from the cold right now. Uh, 
Holy, our, our Balaclava was uh, badly damaged. That thing almost got ruined by the wolves. Let's finish patching this up and then make ourselves a quick fire. Um, oh, it just suddenly got really quiet. That was, that's really weird. Dead silent right now. Okay, that's, that's a little bit better. <laughs> just feels so eerie when you hear absolutely nothing. You're just like, what's happening? Is, is, is there something that's about to happen? Feel like you're in a movie. Alright, let's, uh, let's shut right here. Unbox this. We'll just light the paper. Protectors of Vorkuta. They were shooting people. They're not protectors. Bandits of Vorkuta. That's what they were. We really need more food again. So we are probably going to have to fish. Much as I don't want to. Unless we could find a bear. We could just double barrel it right in the face. Protecting from looters and raiders the beautiful city. <laughs> okay. We go get some fishy. After we get the buff. Maybe. How do we uh, cross back over the uh, ridge? See if maybe there's a bear hanging about. But uh, the fish are more guaranteed for sure. There's no water source on the other side. Wait, we don't even have that anymore. So let's just get rid of this. Toss this mag. Are Mosin at damaged? And part of me wants to use the last bit of this gun cleaning kit on fixing it, but then again, what if we find like a Lamas or something that needs one use on a cleaning kit? We might uh might screw ourselves. Oh no, I think we I think we wait for now. The nice Pilad Moza looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, does it? It's uh it's pretty nice, isn't it? Nice MVGs too, actually. If it gets shot in ruins, it'll probably ruin anyway if it gets shot. <laughs> you can repair them? Oh yeah, we just need an electrical repair kit. But we just don't have one right now. Boots are still only damaged, so that's good. Yeah, I think we're about to get the buff here in a little bit. But, um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that we are gonna get it. Let me just pop one more multivitamin. And then we'll get out of here. in these trees. 
gonna jump out and mow me down. All right, let's go ahead and grab our fishing pole. Okay. Put a rope on there. And then we'll be smooth sailing. We just, uh, we just gotta cross our fingers that nobody's gonna be like running along the coast and we just get tapped in the side of the head by somebody. Like, um, God, what was that guy's name that we were with? He, he was an awesome guy to run with. Um, and he, he ran down to go fishing and we were both really fucked up. Um, after we like killed the guy at the orb or whatever, I forget what his name was, but solid dude. Come on. Come on. Come on, get the fish. Get the fishy. Come on. <laughs> Please. All this waiting, we better catch a big fish. If it's any less than 50%, I'm throwing it back in the water. Better be a big fish. Oh yeah, Kailiki. Yeah, it's uh, that was wild. I had seen that on like another stream where there's a ton of people like up there again. <laughs> it's just funny that uh, people are fighting over the tower. People are like doing like like logging in on each other and like battling it out. <laughs> That's just great. That's great. Five pairs of boots and only one fit. Oh my god, I don't need that kind of juju on me okay i just need to rub that off real quick and uh we gotta recast we gotta recast that cast is uh overrated it was uh had style uh that was like two years ago we got a new style freshwater fishing is ass saltwater is the only way now well, the thing is, I feel like you catch more when you're doing uh, freshwater fishing. I don't know why. I feel I feel like you just catch them faster. But I could be wrong. Oh, shit. Alright, we got one. Let's see if we can catch one more. This is nice. We got the blizzard to kind of, you know, mask us fishing as well. This is good. This is good. Yes, come on. All right. Uh, let's cut this up, get our rope back. Take this with us.
Okay. We need to cut down a couple more sticks so that we can actually make another tripod and cook up this fish. We'll get our fire going and we'll survive. We'll be all right. Probably get the buff while those blizzards still going and then get out of here. Good evening, Flippy Flop. All right. Where are we going to make this fire at? I think right here would be, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this seems like a good spot right here. Let's get her rolling. I wonder if, like, cutting the fish up with a hacksaw versus cutting it up with a knife actually yields better fish, or... It even, or if it doesn't matter. Eighty-nine percent fish and an eighty-one percenter. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we're uh, getting pretty close to being a professional. Science. All right. Next time we next time we go fishing. Let's see what what degrees? I'll wait till it gets to three hundred, and then I'll throw the uh, throw this up because I think right now the cooking stand's kind of helping keeping the fire going. Believe it or not, just due to the blizzard happening, I think I don't know if I think you, the fire might uh, extinguish itself if we don't give it enough. Uh, cover, per se. 300 degrees. Okay. Then throw that on. It shouldn't take very long. And then we'll be eating good. Onion. <clears throat> so it's not really drying me out at all. I wonder, you know what? Let's grab some more sticks. This blizzard is kind of raging quite a bit. We are getting wet. 
But maybe we keep this fire going long enough at a high enough temperature. We can dry out pretty good. You gonna hop onto Stalker Z if it ever returns? Yeah, I think so, Sergeant Monk. Um, I just hope what it's getting turned into ends up being good, you know? So we'll see. We need to figure out how far along we are, so let's go up here to the snow. Fuck, the blizzard's kind of making it pretty hard to see. <laughs> uh, let's eat some of this. Oh, actually, no, we can't eat the fish yet. And it's not going to cool down in the blizzard either. It's so buggy. Like, I'm not even sure right now if we're by the AC-130. Part of me wants to think I am, but it's so hard to tell. Especially with the blizzard and, like, it's kind of hard to orient yourself. Like, I have a general idea of, like, that direction is, like, south-southwest, but figure it out. Just keep marching through this blizzard. We'll be all right. And I think I hear an EVR storm, maybe. We don't have a gas mask yet, so that's gonna be uh it's gonna be rough for us. We'll be able to get inside there if the button set. carrier but pouches another DMR mag
still got the buff. And the fillets are barely cooling down. Just due to the blizzard, which is, I don't know, it's silly, like I said. But we'll deal with it and see if we can get to the next POI before the storm hits. I think we should have a paved road, like, right up this little hill here. If I'm thinking I'm at the right place. Yeah. Okay. Um... <clears throat> there should be a truck. Or a car. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if maybe there's a piece of clothing here with, like, a rag that we're just that I can cut up into rags. Others. Uh, <laughs> Feathers and a sickle. Okay. It's over. Oh no, no, it's not. It's still going. Heard the wind kind of calm down. I was like, oh, it might be over. <laughs> nope. Alright, well, let's just hope there's nobody up here at the heli crash. And maybe we can score ourselves a good gun. And then I'll be like running down the hilitary for the storm or something. Or, uh. I guess all oh, the train tunnels don't work anymore. Is I would need a gas mask in order to actually go inside of the train cart. Because you can't just do it in the tunnel, which is kind of weird. But... Like I'm just going up an indefinite hill right now. <laughs> this is the mountain to heaven. Yo, Saigon the chef coming in with the four months, dude. Appreciate you subbing, supporting the stream. Thank you, my man. this time oh shoot fucker stop it no bad that was very rude oh Okay. <laughs> Washed. <laughs> Pretty much. Ooh, baby. Your steps. I think it's just another zombie.
Can you make a torch out of fat instead of a rag? I think you can. Yeah, actually. Okay, we got to go. Stop being a bitch. We just gotta get down the mountain before the storm hits. Still steaming. Okay. I think eating this fish should give us the buff, if I'm not mistaken. Adam's stream last night and found out the needle is a real thing IRL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they had invited me to go, but um, and I really, I wish I was able to, but money situation just uh, a little tight, so wasn't able to. But uh, it was awesome to see though, you know, the video was pretty cool. I wanted to have a glass. Hey, what's going on? Need to know how you doing? How you doing? What country is it in? I think it's in, uh, I think it's on the border of two different countries, and it's like Slovakia and, uh, oh fuck, what was the other one? I think it's Slovakia and Chechen or something like that. I'm not mistaken. We gotta get inside of the building for a storm here. Maybe Koga Jumbo on, but I don't know. I don't know, my friend. What is that? How, how do you how do you pronounce that? Like Chechia? Che Chechia? I don't I don't even I don't even know. Or Zet Zetia? Czechia. Okay, okay. Oof, 
jacket is a bit banged up from all those wolves coming and attacking us. Shit, we didn't grab a stick. Uh, let's go do that real quick before the storm hits. Should be one like right outside this building, I think. Yeah, like right here. Is that a zombie on the roof? grab one of these rags here make ourselves a torch and we should be able to do this cheesy little thing where we dry off <laughs> just like that god that is so fast. It's kind of ridiculous. See, let's see let's see we need to oh actually this would be a good fix fix the second lamas mag here because apparently the bullets don't really play that big of a factor if they're damaged or not but if the mags themselves are pretty banged up then you need to be fixing them you know because uh you're pretty uh pretty prone to getting jams around here See, we could probably throw. Could keep the, could keep the shotgun for a little while. Considering we're able to just keep the, the moss inside of our pouches. Mags. That's a good call. Gotta get ready to blast all these zombies. I don't even know if we're actually gonna stick around here after the storm. We might, we might go elsewhere because we got our gun and we don't really need much else from this place unless we were getting ammo. I'd rather just mow somebody down and take their ammo. All right. Whoa. I'm gonna take a quick little bink. He's got, got a press vest on. This other one can't seem to figure out their way inside, though. Oh, there's a gas mask there.
big doors are open. No filament so far. Pristine, worn. Um, you know what? Let's swap to the black. Fuck it. Why not? Cruz, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. And uh, yo, happy clouds. Doing good, brother. Hope everything's going well for you as, you know, as well. Poor choice of words. <laughs> but I hope you're good, man. Just have an EVR storm. Would it be too much of a stretch to assume that there might be some people down here by the uh, tunnel? button was hit or not but uh we, we could we could still take a peek see anybody. I mean, the button might have not been hit, so... I mean... Best thing that we could probably do is... Push forward, check out the other heli crashes, and then, I don't know, maybe go to the needle or something. are hanging out over there on the hillside probably means that there's nobody out that way at least up like on the ridge or maybe even down a hillary but could potentially still have some someone over here at the heli crash or around here in the oh god damn okay um well we're gonna go for that that sounds fucking spicy. 
as well the AC-130? Yeah, there was. Running the prediction then? Oh, I didn't even... I was your big attention. <laughs> didn't even know the prediction was rolling. That was probably a pretty fast fight because I got no idea where that was at. But with the way the shots were, the guy was using his DMR, kind of makes me think it was outdoors. You know, it could have been. Could have been in the trees, honestly. Oh, wait. Zombie over there doesn't care. I don't know how I feel about being up here. Guns here. I guess somebody died. This makes me feel great about being here. And a blaze and a mosin. I think. Blaze Tundra. Zombies on the other side of A2 weren't even reacting, so maybe, maybe the shots were like pretty far over here towards like the edge of the trees, considerably like maybe in the valley of A2. Although I don't really see anything out of place. Visibility's not helping. I'm not definitely not running straight into that because I've, I've got no info whatsoever, but maybe we can mosey on over this way and a circle around, see if we uh, hear anything more. But let's get out of this little valley that we're in because this is a death sentence if anyone shows up on us. How's that? Shit. Dead wolves. Hmm. 
Taking into consideration the wolves. They either... I want to say that they killed them on the way down. And then swung over to their right and went to the road. Fucking CSI in this shit and <laughs> we, we have no idea where they're at. Oh, we know they can be watching us, just waiting for us to get in that perfect moment, line up the shot. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's go around the other way. Maybe a path where we're not stepping on so much snow. Someone just got blown up at research. Alright, so what we're gonna do cross the valley and then uh resume looking for them from the other way. It's cause the way we were coming in from I don't know, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel safe. I mean, none of it feels safe, but definitely didn't seem like the smarter move. I think there's another blizzard coming in too. You know what? Shots could have been like here in the valley somewhere. I could explain the lack of zombies running around on day two. I'm gonna keep out the FAMAS for now, just in case there's someone just like sitting in a tree. Seems pretty clear so far.
sneaking. I gotta figure out where this fight was. I don't think it happened up there on the road. All the zombies just chilling. Away, really? Yeah, this blizzard is not doing us any favors. Um, and we kind of got to find some other goodies for us. As much as I love chasing shots, um, sometimes you just can't find them, you know? These guys, like, could have ran down inside of A2. They could have ran back up to, you know, Candy Cane, maybe. Maybe that's what the dead wolves were from. I want to get a little more prepared because we don't even have a backup. Actually, no, we do have backup batteries. So I mean, we could go down, but I'm also thinking maybe get an actual gas mask with filters. And we need a gas tank for the gas stove still. And we need epoxy. There's a lot of things we need. So hitting up an industrial is probably our best option. Has anyone, uh, has anyone here been playing, uh, the, the new Tarkov wipe? <laughs> Curious. I've been playing it a little bit here and there. Past few days. Definitely just, I really just wanted, like, a... Kind of like a high-quality game to test on the new rig. It's, it's been, uh, it's been fun so far. Ooh, this is a nice jacket here. Take this over here and swap them out. Oh yeah. That's my epoxy here. I, oh, I seriously don't have the stamina for this? Oh my god. Alright, fuck the double barrel. I want, I want the stamina to be able to jump up to a fucking train cart. If it's scaving more than anything, it's cool, but I just don't enjoy it like I enjoy Daisy. Yeah, I can... I, I can get behind that. But I will say, like... Maybe it's just because I don't play a lot of Tarkov, but for me, like, getting kills on, like, juiced players, like, just, just feels so much better on Tarkov than it does Daisy for some reason. 
but that's pr right now it's probably just because you know the amount of time that I have playing in Daisy. It's definitely a different experience, a different type of like adrenaline rush. Ooh, canister. Alright, and we can swap out this. Actually, we can just double up. Boom. That's definitely fair to say, because uh, there's been a few times, man, like, I mean, I mentioned it earlier when I started stream, um, where, like, I'll kill, like, three, four guys, and, you know, like, they're pretty kidded, and I'm, like, just about to get out of there, and then someone just comes along and pops us in the nugget. They're like, I did all that work. Just for this guy to come fuck me up. <laughs> Ooh, orange filament. Fill them in. locked up. There's, 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 there's got to be a red one. You can't, you can't just have two of the three. You got to have all three. Uh, there's, there's no way. There's definitely a red one sitting around here somewhere. It's got to be. There's like, uh, there's like two or three crates that I haven't checked yet. I think this is such a hot spot because this is like one of the main spots in the south that actually gets looted. You know, Cause people always come through here to find like, you know, just necessary items. So much loot gets cycled through this area. Definitely a hot spot.
the hell? Got a bluey and the orange. Not the shotgun anymore. Did we do one lap? <laughs> we could. We could totally do one lap. I mean, shit. When you're when you're given this, you know, when you're given a couple of elements back to back like that, like you gotta go for the third, you know. storm it anyway good time to cross it's not going to be stormed by the time we do cross but i think it's still going to be good timing anyway damn this blizzard's been really fucking us up deeper in here and then go ahead and throw down the cooking pot set and see if that'll help us dry off Uh, maybe this will help. Yeah, that puts us in the light blue. But we're still dealing with all that. Maybe we gotta get some bark and make a quick fire or something. Need some sticks though. Turn this off for now. Saw a YouTube video of a new cheap DMR today. Ah. $1,300. Doesn't seem terrible.
Let's throw the leather kits back in here. You know what? We're not going to be rocking an AK. We got the FAMAS. We're just going to drop all that extra ammo. Just added more weight onto us that we don't need. The blizzard has stopped. So let's actually go ahead and run up this cooking pot real quick. It should dry us off fairly fast. Should be done here in a second. We'll let the uh, let the fire do the rest of the work here. Get us thought, get us dried out. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Um, do we wait a little bit and let the buff hit us? Maybe. I think we'll catch the buff naturally after the fire. We're really low on stamina. I feel like we're not even carrying that much. I mean, the bones are kind of heavy, but we might need that for some food. But the stick under 1kg? No, that should be okay. cross on this one lap we can get lucky and find that red filament then uh we're golden this kind of sucks that we don't have a battery or an o2 tank so that means if we when we go to a3 we're gonna need to bring our own light source and we're gonna have to bring a gas mask I guess I gotta also put that in the shopping list too as a gas mask because I'm not gonna use that piece of junk. You can't even wear that with the spacesuit. eye out make sure nobody's sitting here up here in the trees watching the bridge entrance here uh, shit even if there was somebody in these trees i'm not gonna see them let's just hope they miss their shot if there is if we get far enough down the visibility is uh, uh it's it's decent so we'll, we'll be okay I think ever since the blizzard ended, the visibility's kind of just been getting better and better.
think we've gotten to the point where if anybody was behind us, they'd have to be on the bridge to see us. But we should be pretty good all throughout the rest of the way there. Just hope there's not somebody on the other side like uh, last time we crossed over this bridge. Zombies appear to be chilling out here as well, so I think anyone's come through these guys in a little bit. Someone right there, someone right there. Oh fuck, he just saw us. Gotta flank around. <laughs> oh, you fucking nutbag. They must have exited to plant those it's fireworks, right? Is there something dead right there? Dead zombie.
Hmm. Yeah, it probably is escaping along the beach. Or coming up into the tree line here. Let's see if you can line up a shot. But uh with with how with how this guy's playing, I'm I'm not exactly sure what he plans on doing, so let's just uh exit ourselves out of that situation. We're going to check up top before we head down. See if we can get lucky by finding this last filament. Maybe that guy had the last filament. You know, it could have been lucky, but after blowing off the fireworks, all the zombies running around, like, he's either using it to escape or he was using it to, like, figure out where I'm at down there if I was close to the building, you know? He did, uh, does, it, I do think he would have had to exit the building to plant those fireworks, so. Part of me is thinking he probably did leave. Or he's just camping. Like, did it, ran back inside, just camped inside the building. It's always a possibility. get lucky and catch this guy over at the uh, docks. Let's go ahead and get rid of the stick. the FAMAS up here, put the filaments inside of the pouches just so they don't get fucked up. Tara's probably bopping. I, I think so, dude. I mean, like, that's just the first person we see, like, right when we get here. Like, I'm sure there's more people on the island somewhere. Who knows, maybe Spacesuit Man that ripped the uh, spacesuit off my body after he mowed me down with an MP5. Maybe he's running around tonight. <laughs> Never know. Ah, what am I kidding? He probably already lost the suit. So quiet. Hi, Brench. Let's just get the full NBC outfit. Go to the uh, go to the rig. Wait for somebody to make a suit. Camp them. When they go to make the rig or make the suit, just fucking pop out. God, that'd be so devious. Or even setting up like a plastic explosive inside the printing room. 
Or when they step in there, you just fucking kaboom. cold right now actually you know what no we're not we're not gonna do that how long does the uh using the pipe wrench shut off the gas for again isn't it only like a couple like a minute or two or something but I think if someone just stays on it, then gas never comes back, I believe. 60 seconds. I see zombies down there. And I'm pretty sure zombies wouldn't spawn down there. Unless there was somebody nearby. I don't I don't think we're close enough. If you run into that guy, we run into him. We're just gonna let it be. We have to go get ourselves a gas mask and stick with the mission. The gas mask is gonna work out well. Get extra filters, epipens, morphine, whatever we need to get. in here. Right, exactly. Drugs. Mm, at 
That's a good gas mask, but it's fucked up. Let's see if we can find a better one. Before we leave here. There's another one that's pretty banged up. Morphine. Uh, more medicine. Another one of those. Or you been here? You can stay in there. Totally could do a full uh, NBC outfit, but <laughs> that's that's a lot of extra stuff to carry. Stocking up the pharmacy again, <laughs> maybe. Making sure all the kids got are able to get some drugs. That's a good filter. I'm just gonna lock this zombie up. Mm, fresh sharpening stone. Oh, the fuck. Definitely don't want to do that. Found no EpiPens yet, which is kind of strange because usually they're everywhere. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So we need to disinfect these bandages with the iodine that we got. Let's see. Good deal. Got the pharmacy stocked up, ready to go. I just gotta get ourselves some epinephrine. Oh! I, I must have ran right past that. bag oh yeah i had the, like the medic drip on and everything <laughs> we were we were fucking role playing at that point black plate wearing the paramedic drip 
and VG's Absion. <laughs> the kind of man you see and you're like, damn, I really, I, I should not fuck with this guy. Fuck. <laughs> well, if someone wanted to shoot me right there, I'd be deader than dead. Ooh, that looks like a good gas mask right there. You see boots? Wait, actually, the NPC boots might be kind of nice. Another RP Ben. Uh, this is definitely a better mask. It's not all banged up like the other one. Oh shit. Other filter. Maybe I can get lucky if I if I sit on Tara and I run around and just, just just run around everywhere. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find a spaceman just sitting there AFK. Pretty sure I died like down there somewhere by a deer stand. Pretty sure that's where I was. I got gunned down <laughs> when I was AFK. And that's exactly why you can't trust the Tara locals. You have to make sure when you see someone on Tara, you put them down. Because they are there to ruin your day. The guy that got my spacesuit, he probably got the spacesuit. Probably went over to his little camp. Put it on like a... Put it in a tent or like on an armor stand and just like built fires around it and like made it into a shrine and they're just kind of taunting me. I know that's exactly what happened. Maybe it was by this stand. Maybe I was like standing out in the open or something. I don't even know at this point. fit in a tent I believe the suit does fit in the tent yeah that actually be kind of nuts if we went over to like the little pond area where all the tents are and everything and it was there <laughs> it'd be insane right, we're starting to die from hunger we'll uh we'll check this place out then, uh, then we'll figure out where we're going to go after that. We got to get some food, though.
What all can you fix with a tire repair kit and stuff? You can fix gas masks with tire repair kits, can't you? for the mints here. We can go up the stairs and take a quick peek. was a must. We gotta go, we gotta get down here, we gotta fish. And then move on. fish already yeah we already ate all the fish that we grabbed earlier i mean it was only what four fillets we kind of smacked it all down before that evr storm hit but you know we uh we had to come over to the coast anyway um due to the fact that we have to find the life raft or lifeboat whatever you want to call it Damaged. Okay, that's not gonna be bad. Okay, it's not up here. But let's uh let's go let's go take ourselves to a safer spot to fish. Wait, could there be a hook here for us? Ooh, look at that. Got ourselves a good fishing hook. That should help our chances of getting something good. This, uh, this little area out here should be okay. Man, it feels like everyone is just, like, getting beat up by this cold weather and the snow. And, like, over here, it's, like, not even that bad. <laughs> Granted, I'm, you know, not way up north like that, but right now it's 11 p.m. and it's like 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 
It is supposed to get as cold as 19, though, on Wednesday. And then, like, 17 a little bit after that and later on. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> as long as we're not going below zero, we're in good shape. fish. Nice. We need one more. Shit, we just got another one right off the bat. Wait, what? Just get scammed? I think I just got scammed. Oh, here we go. The fuck? Catch fish. <laughs> A different fish. Down our fishing rod again. Actually, you know what? Let's just bring it up here. Should Zach, you should. Is uh, you won't regret it once you're back inside. You're like, damn, that was actually kind of nice. Maybe I need to go out there again. Would be a pretty nice spot to make a fire right here between the rocks. Yeah, that seems pretty nice. Just cut down both. Wait, here. To bust down these sticks, break them up, and then we'll use the other long stick, make ourselves a Another improvised cooking tripod. And good, Zach. This is, uh, I think this is still our first life of the day. Oh yeah, we haven't died since we, because we loaded in on a character that was, uh, already going from last stream, because we, <laughs> we went up to, like, Vorkuta up in the tower and, like, killed the guys that were camping it, and we ended up just getting off. <laughs> The savior of Orkuda. Oh, we have a cook set up. I guess I didn't. Ah, you know what? Whatever. Our 
take down the fishing rod. Yeah, Zach, that was that was rough. Save the gas for the ice. Exactly, exactly. That is the plan. I think I hear an EVR storm starting up. We don't have a lot of time. We gotta cook this fish, and then we gotta get down to the docks. You know, a little bit of photography. Alright. Need one of these right now, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's just pop a morphine, just cause. Get some drugs in us. They'd be an EpiPen too. You know, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Just, let's just do it. <laughs> Drug us up. I'm gonna start having fucking heart palpitations. <laughs> oh, baby. Keep on running. Oh, wait, here's that little, uh, Amp. Which space suit be in here? <laughs> Wait, they're making another one right here?
Wait, these shelters will protect us during the storm, won't they? Yeah, they will, because they're tents. Oh yeah, we don't even have to go all the way to the dock. I should actually chill out for a minute here and uh, maybe do a little more fishing, even. We need a stick, though. Fishing rod acquired. Did you see the shovel stash dug nearby? Oh, I'm sure there's a stash nearby. But, dude, there ain't no telling. Then again, I think you can take the shovel and, like, do, like, the animation thing and maybe, like, see it somewhere. We'll see. We'll catch one fish real quick. And then we'll go grab the shovel and see if we could do a little, uh, you know, bit of stash sweeping. It's probably pretty far off of this place. It's probably, not, like, not around, like, any of the trees that are, like, immediately close because that'd be silly, you know? With all this stuff they have around. There's no way. The SSP investigation. <laughs> you know what? Okay, let's uh... Grab that shovel. And we'll uh, we'll do we'll do a little bit of sweeping. Is it in this one or the first one? This one. Okay. like 38 39 maybe it probably get as low as like 35 tonight or something it's just not even freezing so of time. We should probably chill out here though for the storm like we had planned. such a good hut too like you're nestled into this tree here and you can literally fish out of it
suppose we're going to find out if the improvised shelters are good enough as well to protect from the EVR storm. Um, we'll know after the first hit, you know, and then we'll be able to go over to the tent if we really need to. Oh man, come on, let's go. Let's go pop a deer. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. Like, <clears throat> this is taking quite, but actually, dude, this storm is probably so close by now. It's like, I feel like the second that we leave this place, we're, we're going to have to come right back. Finally. Fuck. <laughs> Let's catch another. <laughs> We're a Tara Island native right now. Just in our little... Our little hut. <laughs> Living our best life. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, give me the fish. Yes, yes, victory. Victory is mine. <laughs> uh, Ryan's so jealous. <laughs> he wishes he could be this cool. Fucking fishing outside of a little hut on Tara Island. PVE vibes. Yeah, this is what, this is what Daisy after dark would feel like. About to find out. <sighs> Shit. I need my fish. Thank you. 
Nouvelle cabane. Are you really sure that tent works? Yeah, it does. Improvised ones definitely don't, but normal tents do. Like the civilian tents and then like the big army tents. All right. We can get out of here now. I think a blizzard might be starting as well. Yeah, like some people used to have the strategy of like when they would go out on the ice sheet to go to the sub or go to like the oil rig or the outpost or whatever, they'd bring a tent with them so that they could lay it out if a storm did come and they wouldn't have to worry. But I don't think people really do that anymore. Everyone kind of knows the path these days, I feel like. this lifeboat is over here on the coast. Going up here in these trees right now might be the best time that we have to sit down somewhere and actually cook up these fish. We could just use the uh, cooking set. You know what? Oh, we're okay. I, I don't think. I don't think we need to. Thinking about it. in the lifeboat yeah it's the uh it's like a blue and it's like a blue floppy disk that is cons like ha considered to have like a blueprint on it you use that to create the spacesuit along with you know the filaments and then a key card much 556 five, so I'm hoping we don't get into a fight like a big group like one or two guys I'd be fine if we have to use a lot of ammo another gas mask over there it's smaller
sewing kit. Helmet, mask. Nothing that we need. Tell me how to use a purple key card. Uh, I guess it depends what map you're playing on. Chernaris. Um. Regular Chinaris doesn't have any key cards. You might be playing on like a modded version. Uh, probably playing like Escape from Chinaris or something. But, but you, yeah, you just got to take the key card to a, a door or vault or container. I don't, I don't know what it's for. And uh, I mean, I'm obviously not going to know where, where it goes. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, I would maybe go onto the Discord server of whatever server you're playing on. And uh, maybe ask in like a support channel or like a general channel. They'll probably be able to help you out a little bit better. second. I didn't kill those zombies. Oh, that's not a zombie. That, holy shit, what the fuck is happening in there? I thought, that was, I thought they were both zombies. One's a fucking person. I don't know if anyone's in there. Lantia documents. Mission rod. guy up there. 
two guys. He's dead. There's more than there's more than one up top. So there's two. There's at least two people left. Damn, dude! So they were up top in that building, being quiet that whole time. <laughs> That's crazy. Throw down a red filament and we let you live. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's his gun hanging out of the wall. What is that I see poking out of the wall? Is that the guy's hand? So I take a test shot. When is, if there was someone there, they're now dead. There is someone behind that wall though. Shot won't go through. <laughs> if I had a gauss, maybe. <laughs> no, no grenades. I wish. Plus, the door's closed. That's a rough one. They're all fucking sitting up there, and I can't, can't wall bang them or nothing either. Close doesn't stop American nades. Oh, it might. Hello. How is your friend's head feeling? Um, oh wait, I think he's dead. If you two would please throw me down a red filament, I'll be on my way. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here until you die. That's not going to do anything.
Damn it. I can't get I can't get a deep angle like I could if I was on that scaffold right there, but it's like a death sentence. Please, please talk to me. Uh, I would love to make some new friends. The door, huh? I think they opened it and then closed it back. Get on the crane? I don't think getting on the crane will do us any good. Start inbound. Yeah, I get like about about ten minutes. Sucks trying to push those buildings. Would you please throw me down my filament? Please? Well, this is depressing. You're very boring. Box grenade would be sick right now. <clears throat> or just any nade. Like, it's like, do I shoot to the moss? I don't want to attract more people. If you don't give me the red filament, I will come and take it from you.
Oh, darn. Now two of you are dead. Oh, are you going to give me the red filament or are you going to die as well? <laughs> oh, damn. It's three. You can hear the you can hear the last one shivering. Come on, just do just do what you know is right. Give me your stuff, or I will kill you. Mm. Even give you a heat pack. Maybe some morphine to take off the edge. It's a hundred percent three. You can literally hear the guy shivering. Don't, don't fucking, don't do that. Uh, shut up. I want to get down on that angle again, but I'm afraid that he's already peeking it or something. Yeah, it's too steep for us to do it like that. Coming up your ladder. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fucking camping baby. Look at you. Just fucking sitting up there.
can't get a good angle. Look, he's still in that corner. He's still in the fucking corner. <laughs> I hope he sticks his foot out. I'll fucking shoot him in the foot. I don't care. You're such a fucking little weasel. You can't wall bang here. I already tried it. Look at him. Look at his. He's got a little tail just, just teasing me. <laughs> this fucking guy, man. At least we know we've killed two of them so far, and they're all just too scared to even talk or anything. Like, they got microphones. It's 2024. All right. The tie of cold soon? Nah, he's probably not even that cold, man. Maybe if I'm closer, may, or maybe it'll, uh, oh, uh, there's the restart. Damn. Oh, I hate that. There's still peep. there's still poor people in 2024, Danny. <laughs> well, look, almost every single set of headphones these days comes with a microphone, okay? <laughs> I could go buy a, a fucking pair of Apple headphones. For 15 bucks. You can get a headset for 9 bucks to be honest. Yeah, that, even that, like. This guy's probably just going to be gone after the restart as well. And the bodies are... I mean, I, who knows if the guy's even stripping bodies. Because he wasn't really moving around too much. Probably just going to log off, honestly. So that he can't combat log. Or that he doesn't combat log. Surprised you got the second guy? I knew one of them was peeking. And I just had to line it up. That was a dirty little angle, though. <laughs> Very happy with the way it turned out. I mean, shit, getting two out of the three when there's guys just camping up there, like... Come on. Not much else you can do. The thir third one's just gonna stay there until his buddies get back. They're obviously talking on Discord. Because they're not, uh... I'm not talking a game. Oh man, I'll be... If this guy tries to take advantage of the restart and like... Leave or something. Or, I mean, he might just not log back in. So, we'll have to, we'll have to see what he does, I guess. I've definitely wall banged that before. With a Mosin, though. Because I shot right there and the dude didn't, didn't get hit. I'll try it again if he's if he's still holding that spot. I'll fuck I'll try to wall bang it again. I believe it was 308. Damn. Three hundred eight should have done the. Tr I mean, then seven sixty two should have done the trick, if three hundred eight did the trick. 
the Mosin round a lot heftier. Put a mag through it. <laughs> Just fucking spray the whole FAMAS mag into the fucking wall. I barely have any 556 five, lights. <laughs> Otherwise, I would consider it. I was kind of stupid using the majority of my 556 five, in the door, though, but hey, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, we're loading in. Let's back up and see if this guy is still gonna be in there. No, you see, that's that's against server rules right there to like push people like while a restart's happening and taking advantage of them because it's a restart. Not allowed. server has to be full before engaging um not necessarily uh it has to be full before you do anything that would have that would be that you would be taking advantage of if uh he didn't come back in the server or if he or if he did at some point you got there before him before the server was full yeah i thought so too uh Sifug, but like the angle just isn't strong enough to hit to get there in the corner and it's not high enough either like you start going downhill the further away you get to get that angle yeah dude he's not logging back in well uh we'll, we'll, we'll sit here for a second and uh and wait but i'm pretty sure this guy's not going to come back they said uh we're done for with daisy for the day man let's go play tarkov That way, we, whenever we sit somewhere, we can, uh, you know, hold that angle white. Just been dealing with these guys a while. Uh, it's been like, what, 10, 15 minutes? We were, we were looting around and like, dude, we went inside of... Maybe he left a red filament for you? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm not, I'm not climbing up that, though. Fuck that. Basically, I went and cleared that building. But I didn't go up to the top because there's no reason to. And I ran, I ran all the way around and came back around here. I saw a dead body and then a fire going inside of that building. So they either just moved and had like the perfect timing or they were up in that building just staying perfectly silent whenever uh, I was down there clearing it. You could hear him shivering, true. I want to see if I can get the wall bang. Let's move on. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can hear this guy shivering or not. Not the bravest Daisy squad ever. Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. They decided to make that building up there their home. You know, as long as one person holds the ladder like they're not like they actually have hands. And it's like a impossible thing to push. Hey, are you back or did you leave? Because if you left, that would be a real shame. Come on, buddy. Don't tell me that you decided to stop playing DayZ for the night because your buddies got killed. 
That's depressing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's the worst food. People just holding slight little angles like it's Rainbow Six Siege. Imagine being that scared. All right, well, have a good day. You can live on knowing you did nothing to save your friends. I was just trying to bait him. See if I can get him riled up enough <clears throat> to uh, push out. I, th I don't think he logged back in, but I'm not going to take that chance that he suddenly figured out how to ADS to stay quiet. We still have a filament to find. Granted, one of them may have had the filament. Just nothing we could really do. Psychological abuse. Peak shit. They they didn't even come back on the server. <laughs> uh, see, it's like that's one of those reasons why I refuse to like put myself in positions like that. Like if I were him, I would have already like pushed out on the roof, like tried to get an angle on someone, like. But he's just sitting in the corner, sucking his thumb. the MVGs on. Definitely need more 556 five, though. So if we see some military zombies, let's try to kill them and uh, let's hope that they've got some ammo on them. Hey, what's going on, Stoli? How you doing tonight, man? Duct tape. We could keep that, and then if we find a water bottle, 
actually make a suppressor. You can roll off that roof onto the lower roof without making noise. Yeah, you, there's, there's, there's a few different ways to get off that roof. Um, I think you get hurt a little bit though if you do roll off of it, like only a tiny bit. So it might be like a small noise. Repair. Wait, oh no, it's a tire repair kit. I thought we had electrical repair kit right there. I was like, yes, we finally get to fix our MVGs. <laughs> nah. It was a zombie I heard. still close <laughs> sad sight to see boys and joys sad sight to see but hey at least we uh oh we've got an aurora going on we know there's not going to be a storm for a little bit At least we killed two of them, right? Only downside is we didn't get like any blueprints or filaments off of them if they did have any. Also a big bummer that they didn't want to talk, you know? It's just... Some people just don't want to give you the time of day or the satisfaction of, of knowing like who it is, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's do one, two, three, four. Nah, nah. I dropped a 10 round DMR mag. We're not gonna use that. Look at this view from up here. Like, imagine we had a Gauss rifle. is a view. The suits don't let you look through scopes. They should. Uh, I'm not in a spacesuit, but I, d I do know what you're saying, though. I, th 
think the big thing is, right, you, if you're using NVGs to look into a site, like, I, mean, I guess you can do it in real life, right? Just another thing reflecting light. Not scopes? Yeah, not scopes, but, like, red dots and stuff. Maybe that's the issue. Because it's scopes, like, you know, it's like a issue with, like, the reflecting light and everything like that. I'm not sure how it really works. I don't know the science behind it, but... That's what, that's, that's what, God, that's like kind of what I was getting after. So I could, I could totally see why. Come on. I just want a red one. Love nods. Yeah, night vision goggles are something that, like, I mean, down the road, something that I definitely want to, like, buy a pair. <coughs> Sorry. Like, buy a pair. Just see what it's like, dude. I don't know. Or maybe even just, you know, at first, maybe I'll just go try it, try out a pair. You know? Because I'm sure there's, like, some ranges and stuff like that that do like, those kind of things. It'd be cool, like, being able to learn about nods more, because, like, not many, maybe not many of you know the, the, yeah, exactly, Gray Man. Like, they're fucking crazy expensive. That's why it's like getting good with like some sort of company or something. Um, but 30, 70k seems crazy. I mean, that seems like the price of maybe like quad nods. But like, uh, what was I saying? Uh, right, so with like night vision goggles, um, th the night vision goggles don't always do like this, right? Like what, what we see now, like they depend on the light that's available to them. Like if you're in a completely pitch black room, night vision goggles will not work. If there is not a single source of light, they won't work. <laughs> it's it's kind of nuts to think about. Because you go into places like in A2 and like A3, like and in uh, just in video games in general, and like it's just like, oh, dark place, night vision, here you go. But you know, like I said, it depends on the moonlight and everything like that as well, and just like all your surroundings and I think in Stalker, um, they have realistic night vision, I believe. Where, like, if there's, if it's, like, a really, like, what is it again? Like, a waning moon or whatever when it's, like, or a new moon when it's not bright at all? That's where there's IR lights. Does that make it so you can see everything around you? And are the IR lights, like, something that you have to, like, throw, like, somewhere in the room or something like that to get it? Or do you just, like, keep it on your body? It's attached to you, and it, it helps, like, light everything around you. See, like, I never even knew, that, like, if, if it does that, like, if it light makes it so you can see everything else around you, like, that that's kind of nuts, because I always thought, um, that, like, the IR, like, strobes and stuff was just for, like, 
knowing like who's who's enemy, who's or you know who's who's a friend. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty neat knowing that now. If that's the case, I hate checking this spot out because I feel like I never find filaments here. But we got to give it a shot. What the hell? You try to open my door, zombie? Getting weird. Hey, you got anything in there? Another gas mask filter. Okay, okay. Pretty cool, man. I mean, fuck. Night vision goggles are so cool. <laughs> like, the technology behind them and, like, how they actually work. Do you guys think that the guys that lit off those fireworks are the same guys that were camping up in uh, the docks? Yeah, that's definitely a bucket list thing for sure, dude. I watch some guys on YouTube that do those like kind of things, and they're like, their whole like niche is like, they teach like other like tactical groups and SWAT teams and police, you know, you know, police departments and stuff like that on like tactical clearing and everything like that. Um, some of you have probably seen them on YouTube, but it's like GBRS group. Pretty cool guys, but like, you know, they're uh, professionals in what they do, you know? I don't always run solo dirty. Usually I end up like starting out solo and maybe I'll uh, find a friend to team up with along the way or something, but I'd say for the most part, probably I'm solo. Oh, what color is this? Fuck. Orange.
epoxy. Take that. <clears throat> oh yeah, Dirty Dunk, that's exciting, man. Yeah, I think you're gonna love playing on PC, dude. Like, definitely a huge difference. I, w I would recommend anybody pl that plays Daisy to, you know, save up for a PC or something and uh, do it up on, you know, a computer as opposed to, uh, you know, wasting your time with console. And they've kind of made, like, Daisy on console, like, the best they really can, honestly. Like, it's, it's just hard to include that much into a game. With, with your setup like that, how do the screams not blind your eyes? What do you mean? We got a big enough local screen. And then, like, I mean, everything that I pull up, I mean, I have, like, dark mode on on all my apps and everything, you know, like, from Steam to OBS. It's not very bright at all, really. My main monitor is a 27-inch uh, 2560x1440 uh, um, gigabyte monitor, and, oh, excuse me, uh, it's got 165 hertz as the refresh rate. Hello? Oh yeah, and I forgot that the monitor's curved as well. I forgot that part. But uh, I love it. I play on console with mouse and keyboard. Oh, nice. I mean, but is the inventory system like different? Like as similar to like how it is on PC? Or is it still the same system that is like on by default on... Uh, Console. You ever tried not being so good at the game? <laughs> Plenty of times. <laughs> you, would you play on an ultra wide monitor? Uh, you know what? I think 27 inches is like the biggest I would really want to go with a monitor. You know what I mean? Uh, Jam Cloud, I think any monitor, if you know if you know how to use NVIDIA control panel, you can just up your gamma. <laughs> so it's not like based on your monitor. Some people use monitor gamma, I guess, but yeah. There's people that change their, like, color filters so that, like, dark clothing shows up, like, bright pink and, like, all sorts of other shit. Like, it's so jank. But people do that shit. Yeah, let's go check out the tent, see if we can find a weapon cleaning kit. Oh, wait. Score. Wait, we need space for this, don't we? Yeah. Boom. Now we got a good cleaning kit. We could actually fix up our Rosen right now if we wanted to. No red filament, and honestly, I don't really feel like doing another lap. <laughs> I'd rather go get some action. Back to where the filaments actually spawn? Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Ah, you're good, Ski. 
vibe with people chit chatting. That's what it's all about. Yeah, we'll just hit all the all the places, you know. We'll hit every POI and uh, see if we can find that red one. We'll probably find like another orange one and another blue one <laughs> on top of what we already have, and the one that we just like. So so far this run, two oranges, one blue. Uh, community servers, dirty donk. It just happens to be a better experience, you know? Everything from, like, the interaction with people and, like, because of how, like, you know, the servers are ran and how the community is. Um, and just, you know, consistent population. His version of poetry reading at a dive bar. <laughs> Gosh, that doesn't sound too bad. And again, I don't think I'd be all too keen on reading things to people in public. But a dive bar sounds nice. Wait, we have all that fish <clears throat> inside of our cooking pot. We're good. We just gotta go find somewhere in the woods to cook up. We are good. Last Death Friday was well dodgy. Wait, which one? When I came out of the tower? Oh, yeah, Marty. I know. I, I didn't, uh, I just didn't say anything about it. <laughs> Fucking wading back with a noob tube. And I'm pretty sure I didn't even kill any zombies outside that tower or anything. And I really didn't even make that much noise. I don't even think I packed any mags or really did anything. I don't know. I thought about maybe putting in a report for that, but... Other part of me was just like, ah, whatever, you know? I'm just happy they didn't get me with the, uh, noob tube. Oh, shit. Oh. Got wolves everywhere. Oh, no, we gotta find a deer stand or something. There's so many. Oh, yes, deer stand. Just leave me alone. Ah. Uh, oh, yikes. Yikes. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Not good. Ah, right, you bastards. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like the lie, you have the voice of someone who would be singing while the ba band plays during the sinking of Titanic. The tones of angels singing softly while the survivors scream for more. While saving the... <laughs> but you get the gist. <laughs> MVGs, uh, the MVGs are fine. They never get damaged. Um, whenever uh, they're on the helmet, pretty positive. Like they're always gonna be okay. The gas mask in there, and grab one of these fish. Just headlamps. Yeah. So it's not the MVGs, right? They they can affect the helmet, but since the MVGs are connected to the helmet. It, uh, it doesn't ruin it. It's just like when you shoot somebody in the head that's wearing NVGs on a helmet, they're only their helmet gets damaged and the NVGs are fine. Like, you have to take the NVGs physically off of the helmet to ruin them if you want to. Alright, we're gonna go up here and see if we can find some ammo for this FAMAS. Or even Mosin ammo. Kind of struggling right now. Like, I wonder if they got my head. No, they, they just hit my backpack. Shit. That was round two. And that. Uh... Let's get rid of the NBC boots. Yeah, and same with like, uh, if you've got the weapon flashlight on the side of the tactical helmet, it won't get damaged. But like if you're wearing, let's say like a combat helmet or an assault helmet with the headlamp, like the one with the strap, then it'll, it'll damage it. The MVGs are on a helmet, they have a different hitbox. I don't even think they have a hitbox, Monk. Because you, like if you put the helmet on the ground, you can't even destroy the MVGs if they're still on the helmet. Or even like if there's like a body on the ground and you're trying to ruin them. I think it's just like non-existent. Oh wait, we already have a... Mosin mount. Oh shit. Do we keep the uh Vlad on there or do we put the Spectre on it? Probably throw the Spectre on it. Because we'll probably put the Spectre on a uh, SVD if we find one. And plus the uh Spectre actually has um fucking mill dots on it so you can actually you actually know the range of the people you're shooting at so i'm okay with making that swap making a suit uh if the red filament falls in our lap um we found the blue and the orange one over here at brent's industrial like one after another and then we went and did a lap um only found one more orange killed a couple guys on tara didn't get to loot them so they may have had the filament but we're uh i just didn't feel like making another lap getting stuck over there
Yeah, maybe we get lucky. Cooking pot. Our cooking pot's fine, yeah. turning daytime yeah it's starting to get brighter out but it's still pretty dark so let's just keep the mvgs on oh plastic explosive wait 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 wait, wait, wait. we have a detonator don't we Oh no, we dropped it. Fuck. Well, maybe we can find another. <laughs> oh fuck, we're sick. It's not good. the only one that saw that, right? Look at that bear all the way up there. <laughs> Dude, it's so far away. I want to hear another bear that way towards A2. If it were me though, I would go for the, the bear up on the mountainside. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Okay. I think you had all that 22 from the tower trolls. Yeah, dude. It's honestly been a fucking godsend having all that ammo. Being able to just run through and clear out all the zombies everywhere. Okay, now, okay, now it's fucking daytime. Or, well, it's, it's very close. Very, very close. Oh, come on. I guess there's a possibility it spawns over here, actually, now that I think about it. It's over at, um, whatchamacallit, the ox elements can spawn up on the, up in these buildings as well. Ranger? What? What do you mean, Ranger? I'm not going up there, though. Uh, no filaments. Okay. If we heat up the fish, we'll, uh, we'll be okay. Whoops. That'll keep us fairly warm for a little while. We just gotta go get the bear. I love the Namask morning music. So soothing. Oh shit, we didn't check these containers. Bro, fucking another blue one. Storm's coming. There we go. Oh, there he is. We don't really have the space. <clears throat> Need this fish though, maybe. 
And I guess we don't need the fishing rod anymore if we're going to be killing bears. I guess it would be VR storm. I must have just been hearing some ambient noise. up some of the sewing kit and such. Oh, and I forgot that we're wearing fucking rain boots. <laughs> Oops. I have to retire the wellies. At some point. They're badly damaged. Um, regular sewing kit won't do it, right? No. Yikes. Let's just do a total... Overhaul real quick. Oh, hello. There's two of them too, so maybe it was best that we didn't take the shot. Someone near me. Just afraid this guy can see me through this tree or something. Someone else too. someone close to me and then someone I heard that way running towards us <clears throat> unless it was the same guy leaving but I don't think so I think this guy is still like silent right here
I gotta turn down the music. Fuck. Shivered. <clears throat> must have been the same guy <clears throat> that we heard uh like that guy that we heard around us must have been the same guy that was uh running uh away Yo, Grant, my dude. Thanks for coming in with a total one if I have months. Appreciate you. Thank you for continuously supporting over all this time. It just means a lot. We need another gas canister as well. going on there goes Rex <clears throat> will the epoxy work on the boots no the boots will uh, take duct tape um, the tire repair kit I think that's it. This is like their special kind of boots, I guess.
You know what? Let's go ahead and just cook up two more of them. Cooking set ran out. Um, we could put that there. Throw the mask back in. Take that out. I gotta find us. I gotta find us some new boots. That one's not going to aggro on us. DSS. The gas battery. They're so heavy though. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to this one. Oh wait. MVG head strap. Oh, that might be kind of nice for if we go and get the suit. Um... It's just a runner. I was like, what the fuck is that zombie doing? Drop it in a tree. Ah. Uh, we'll make some space for it somehow. With battery. Actually. Yeah, not a bad idea. It's not a... We don't know for sure when we're going to find that red. Good call. I just gotta remember what tree he was in. <laughs> We're gonna be loud coming up this, but fuck it, honestly. steps but it sounds like zombie steps yeah I can hear the zombies like moaning and groaning and shit
got to be fucking kidding me. Three orange ones, two blue ones, no red ones. That means that means there's got to be a red one down somewhere. There's got to be. Yo, Aldo, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Island military out past the grandmas. I don't even think they can spawn there. <laughs> Wait, you find red there often on the scaffolding? Wait, what? I've n I've never heard of the filaments spawning over on that island, but holy shit! I mean, hey, I I, I guess they added Brent's industrial. They could add that. got like what three three or four buildings to check down the military to see if maybe there's a red one And if those wolves are on us, there's probably not anybody here inside of Hilitary. Makes me wonder, though, where those two guys went that were uh, up on the mountainside. They got a general right there. Placement. Fuck, I gotta reload. find them at Narinsk, right? Pretty sure you can't.
outside military front entrance. Oh shit, you're right. I forgot about that truck. We'll go check that out. Oh, actually, you know, I wonder if these towers have a chance of spawning the filament. Could do, maybe. Yep, I knew that was coming. Yeah, I know we could have used that for a silencer, the uh, bottle, but we don't have a duct tape roll. I don't know, I don't know. Only lasts for two shots anyway, like, I don't even really know if it's worth it. doesn't the tunnel oh wait i forget the tunnel can spawn them can it uh inside the train the train carts right uh. yeah fuck it we'll check that five five six might be running dry oh it's most definitely running dry we have like 25 shots to our name, 24 in the gun. Yeah, the advantage with the MVGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and um, repair these before we start running in them a lot. It's a good thing that we were able to replace these though, because I think those rain boots were on their last leg. Shit, we're dying of the cold right now. We need a fucking gas canister too. Um, Maybe we'll find one down here in the tunnel. Oof. You know, like maybe even... Oh, that truck is further back. But there is a truck that like sits along this road right here. Maybe even that has the capability of spawning filaments. I wouldn't doubt it. gas not yet it's further down towards the trains When does this gas start? <coughs> oh, there it is.
Ooh. Gas canister. Another gas canister. <laughs> I suppose we could actually use up a gas canister really quick, cooking up the rest of our steaks, and then grab the new one. We'll min max. Well, the cooking setup will give you the heat buff or just white? Uh, I think it'll give you the heat buff if you sit over it for long enough, but I'm not sitting on it because I want to be able to hear if people run off. One sec. Did you have a spare filter for me? Uh, I should have more than one spare. Yeah, I got I got one right there as well. So we're we're good. I gotta send this message. <clears throat>
Okay. We got the duct tape now, just in case we do find a water bottle while we're down here. Player there. Look at all these sewing kits. Two brand new sewing kits. Um. Get rid of that jank one. it for now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I really don't want to exit out that way. No red filament. Our journey of scouring the moss quarry red filament continues. See how many more orange and blue ones we can find before uh, find the red one. Bet you the red one's sitting at research. Or island military, yeah. Yeah, we went to the candy cane. We went to military. Candy cane had an orange one. Uh, Brent's cut another blue one. A2 for 556. I think we'll spend more 556. But. I mean, we, maybe. We could also find a filament down there, so if we check these other, this other spot and, like, we're still not getting lucky, we, I mean, we might just head down there and see. Like, I'd rather, I think I'd rather check A2 first before I go all the way to the island military to check for a red filament. I think we are out of the gas. Yeah, we're definitely out of the gas. Every time I come out of here, there's like this little white bit at the bottom of a tree over there, and I think it's a person every single time. Just waiting at the base of a tree, looking for that crispy snipe in the tunnel. Oh, I hear a bear.
I wonder where the two guys went that ran up the mountain while I was sorting my inventory after we killed that bear. I wonder where those two went. Like, I thought they were going to be at Candy Cane when we were there, but they weren't there. They weren't at Hilitary. No, five, five. There's another bear up here. <sighs> no ammo at all. I found a red at the granary in Tara. The granary. Places with the storage things. Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Oh yeah, our face mask. <clears throat> Dying from the cold. Let's put the bear steaks in here, eat them up. The lumber mill. I think. What? Why would I be what? Oh shit. The fuck my mask is. I think we checked that before in reverse. We didn't we didn't see one when we were there earlier. Um as the rounds just tried my first ever trip to 83 and walked out with a kill and a SVD still shaking. Nice. Nice dude, yeah. It always feels good getting inside of A3 and getting out with a win, you know, instead of dying in there. Always feels good.
Someone's shooting something suppressed. Fucking whiff the shot. These guys are probably <clears throat> sorry these guys are probably just holding the stairs or something probably not even like peeking any of the windows Should have had at least one of them. There, there is one. Fuck. Oh, fuck. He's on me.
If I didn't hit my shot, I'm <clears throat> toast. Yep. <clears throat> Damn. I thought my shot was on. Let me look at that real quick. That's when I shot. Or maybe my shot was a tad bit late because he hit me and like stun locked me or something. <clears throat> maybe that's what happened. <laughs> 0 0.56 milliseconds late. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that life was just so long, though, just, like, looking around for the fucking filament for ages, just snoozing. Ooh, there's a fire in this house. It was a good run, though. We didn't see, like, a ton of action. We killed people on Tara and stuff, but it was a good run, nonetheless. I guess the beginning of the run was, like, the climax when we, uh, went up in the tower and got those guys. Oh, shit. There's like two of them, I think. You play on your asset? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Hopefully you can uh, show show me the ropes. I'm not on the moss too often. I don't really know my way around very well. Okay. I heard footsteps. I don't know. Yeah, someone's called outside. Is that somebody you know? Uh, nope. I see you, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, run, <laughs> pussy.
That's embarrassing. That's not important. <laughs> Shooting at me was your first mistake. Now your first mistake was showing up fucking cold, you pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are fighting words. Yeah, come fight then. That's what I thought. Are you delaying, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck. You, That's not fighting, missed. that's shooting. It's cheating. That's my friend! Your friend's stupid! Get back here! <laughs> yeah, he was, but that's not the point! Get back here! <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> You just wait. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're lucky oh, I want to die. No. I hate this spawn. Get back here. I don't think you want to die. This spawn sucks. God. <laughs> Dude, why? No, do it. Hurt me, zombie. Touch me. Uh, all right. I'll take that as a win. That's fire. Oh, these gloves are good. Gloves right here, best insulation. That's one of them running back. Yo. 
is them again. Damn, that was unfortunate. You killed this boy? What? You killed this man? Well, who? Who are you talking about? You! The fucking war zone. <laughs> oh, we are fucked up. Holy shit, that was quite the shot. <laughs> Fucking marksman. <laughs> Easy, I could do this all day. Another one. Fuck. Oh shit. Ah. No. No. Ooh, but I'm bleeding. Shooting everybody I see. Everyone's dying. No grenades. Let's see any grenades in here? Nope. What is this? Uh, 357. Wait, is that a. Did I just see a person? Wait, 
roof right above their head. They get him. I might have got him through this window. <clears throat> I'm gonna get ya. You're bleeding. Bro, I just got uh, this knife. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I can't hear you. And your time. I can't hear you. Oh, whoa, whoa. calm down there. And your time, <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> you silly boost. You're leaking. You're leaking. You're leaking. Hey, you're leaking. You're leaking. <laughs> I tricked you again. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hit you again. <laughs> And now you got two blades. Oh no. <coughs> Walker! <laughs> Come on up. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Oh shit. Oh no. You're still bleeding. Hey. Hey, you're still bleeding. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I'm flashing. Holy shit. That guy with the wrench. <laughs> that guy with the wrench. Fuck, that's so bad. <laughs> Oh, the tire iron, that's what it was. Fuck. Yeah, we're fine. 
Yes, but a flesh wound. Target acquired. Target missed. Oh, there's two of them. It's not zombies. I thought there was. I thought there was like zombies and shit. There's a third guy down at the bottom, like toward those containers. Oh fuck! Ha <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Dude, we're so fucked up. Let's start cracking the heat packs. They'll never get us. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start chucking guns and shit. They're gonna start molding. Chuck the ammo too. He's going over on the crane right now. Um, hello, who's there? Hello, how's it going? Did you just kill my friend? Um... Um... Yeah, I don't know if I can answer that. But your friend was totally stupid, though, so... Yes, you know happens trying to did you try and climb the ladder uh-huh hello Fuck. hello 
Hello, it's me. <laughs> oh, you didn't kill my friend. Hello? Shh. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you. I'm gonna get you, punk. Jumped off. Or something. What is... I feel like... Going insane. Oh man, who did I just kill? I'm coming. Let's go see what this one had. <clears throat> Fuck it, who needs food? God, stop. Might be flashing health, but we're making it. We're killing someone else.
<laughs> I hope they're still up here at the town. I'm moving so slow. How's it going? I'm coming in, all right? I'm coming in. <laughs> oh, I just needed to get tapped once. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> That's going to be it for me ladies and gentlemen Ooh, all right sweet all right yeah so that's gonna be for me short stream um got on a little later than i wanted to but uh, i do gotta wake up pretty early so gonna be getting off now and uh yeah we'll see uh we'll see what we do tomorrow maybe maybe some more uh maybe some more to mosque Maybe Alteria. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Probably Namalsk. But, uh, yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you, everyone, for hanging, chilling tonight. Uh, thank you for all the subs. And if there's any new ones, all the resubs as well. Um, and, yeah, just thank you guys for hanging out and supporting. If you're new to the stream, please uh, join the Discord, follow the Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube, you know, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, really, the support really means a lot. But uh, that's going to be it for me. So uh, see you guys later. Have a great rest of your night. Peace.